directed by Jacques Audiard. Paris 13th District is the story of four individuals living in a district of Paris whose lives cross paths in numerous ways where sometimes they are friends, sometimes they are lovers, and other times they are both. Hello everybody, my name is Josh from Movie Apprentice and today I look at Paris 13th District and as you can gather, it is a French film that I was lucky to catch at the BFI London Film Festival last month. And as much as the guy next to me tried to ruin it by taking his phone out eight times throughout the entire runtime, this film left an impact and stuck with me in the long run. It mainly follows three characters, though it is a fourth that comes in later on. And I just love how independent all three of these characters are. There are some names in it that take me out of the film. For one, one of the characters is called Emily Wong, who just gives me Mass Effect vibes because of that one character in Mass Effect. And there's also a character whose stage name is Amber Sweet, who left me questioning if she is addicted to the knife or not. If you get the reference, well done you. But as much as all these things try to take me out of it, it's a very engaging, personal, emotional story. The arcs that these three go through and the things they discover about themselves, it has a lot going on. There are three main characters and Amber Sweet is a fourth character that comes in later on. And out of the three, there is a particular favourite of mine, which is the third individual with Emily Wong coming a close second. Though, I love the stories. You have your free spirit nymphomaniac that just lives in her grandma's apartment, works a little job for the most part, she just rents the place out. You have a teacher who always feels like needs to be in control of everything and is, yet again, a, another free spirit, though he just tries to have everything and anything. And you have this middle-aged woman who's returning to university after years away to raise a family where she has to deal with the fact she is older than most students and she is chasing her new career and of course the fourth character is one of those cam models where you pay to see them do things to themselves that is their whole thing and amber sweet is her video camera name this film has a lot of smut in it there are numerous sex scenes featured which you just expect from French films at this point. If you know watch a French film, they are some of the smuttiest things ever. They're never as extreme as, say, Blue is the Warmest Colour. But I think one thing French films do is they just show human connection in the way that Hollywood can never quite replicate. It's very unapologetic in the way it tells these stories. These characters develop across the runtime in several different ways. And even when they're at odds with each other, there's never anything too harsh or Hollywoodized about it. Each one of these characters does feel genuinely real. There are a couple of individuals in this that do annoy me so much, but even they are understandable in how they are acting. There are some nice standout moments. For one, there's a moment where one character just lamps another one because of something they did months ago, but they play it off like they're old friends. I love that that comeuppance came around. And out of the finales and how these stories round out, there are a couple of pairing ups. One I 100% bought and really enjoyed that revelation. You can see the breadcrumbs throughout the movie. But the other one, unfortunately, felt a little bit forced and a little bit toxic. It is gorgeously shot. The director makes a decision to go with a very desaturated look so it's all black and white this year has very much been the year of black and white movies and musical movies it's really effective at just focusing on the intimacy you are not distracted by all the colors around them it is 100 focused on the characters and their interactions the pacing is really well done it shows a passage of time almost flawlessly and the way these all come together and how the relationships develop and bond over time does feel natural. I just really have to praise this film as a nice little capsule of human emotion and relationships and bonds. It captures it so realistically and so perfectly. I really wish there were more films 
like this. Unfortunately, you can't really get these sorts of bonds in these Hollywoodized films. Though, just the artistic style, the way the characters are written, and how these arcs play out, it is a very well-crafted movie. And I'd recommend checking it out if you get the chance, if you do not mind subtitles, of course. Before I get into my grade, if you enjoy what I do on this channel, consider clicking that like button and subscribe for more video content like this one coming all the time. But without further ado, let's grade this. So Paris 13th District, it is a film that focuses on humanity and human emotion and the bonds we have with each other, both metaphorically and physically. The characters are very believable and while there are some arcs that end in some unsatisfying ways for myself personally, this can vary from person to person. If you watch with friends, I employ you to have conversations with each other afterwards to talk about who are your favourites and who are your least favourites. I feel like someone can relate to any one of these characters at any single point in time and it's just a fun film to watch despite its steady pace and rather long runtime it is a wholesome little watch all about human connection and that is something that after the year that was 2020 was a film that very much needed to be released so overall i'm gonna have to say that for me paris 13th district is a great cup of tea so paris 13th district have you seen it if you have let me know you thought that in the comments below again like you see in the channel click the like button subscribe for more video content like this coming all the time and until next time my name is Josh, I have a new apprentice, see you.